Hey inventors, I'm Simon, I'm an engineer and this is the first video of my YouTube channel. Notion is a note-taking app that has many superpowers and here is a quick example. On Notion we can build pages and in these pages we can put a bunch of text as in any other note-taking app but we can even add a table and when we add content to this table we can then open each line of this table as an independent page. And in this case, we can even add more content into each page. And then we can even open another table. So this becomes cool because it is a sort of database of databases where we can put information one into the other. And the last cool thing of Notion is that we can build a bridge between several pages and several informations. For example, I can do link to page and I can link the Notion example page. And when I click on Notion example page, I go back to where I was at the beginning. So Notion gives you an infinite freedom of customization and makes it one of the coolest note taking up ever. Now, here is how we can turn Notion into a super productivity tool. Here we are on my home page. As you can see, I have several sections. But for now, let's focus on the most important one, the first one. This is what I want to see every day. In this case, as you can see, it is called Objectives. And this is a dashboard that I've built with my quarterly objectives with the percentage of advancement for each objective. So this is very cool and very useful because literally it's what you see every day and you can immediately spot where I am underperforming, right? So I can use it to basically direct my day-to-day -day life. When it comes to objectives, I use a method that is... When it comes to objectives, I use a tracking method that is called OKR, Objectives and Key Results. This method has been invented at Intel and it is used by Google since when they were nine months old. So it's a very powerful tool. How OKR works is very simple. First of all, you set your own objectives for this quarter, ambitious things that you absolutely want to get done before this quarter ends. And then you link each objectives to a specific list of measurable actions that you must do in order to declare the objective as achieved. And these actions that you do are called key results. Here is an example of how we can build our OKR system into Notion. Out of my dashboard, there is a page, OKR database, where I have listed all my objectives and all my key results. So let's start from the objectives. Let's take the first line as an example. I had for my past quarter the objective to create the first version of a process that would allow me to go from I have one idea to I have uploaded the ended video. And there are many, many things in this process from research to scripting to editing. There are a ton of things in the middle and I've never done it before. So I didn't knew anything about it. When I have set this objective, I have then listed several key results that are attached to this objective. When I achieve those key results, I declare the objective as done, as one. After listing those things, I have built column that are numbers. I have a target value that is my goal, the number that I want to achieve, and I have a current value, what I have actually done. After having built a target value and a current value, I have built a progress bar. So I set a function into this little cell that allows me to calculate the percentage of progress on that specific key result. And then the average of all those things generate the total progress bar for the entire objective. So 182% is the average of those seven key results listed here. First of all, all this template will be in the description below, so you will be able to duplicate it and use it as you want. Last quarter, I said, okay, let's say that if I want to launch a YouTube channel, I need several videos. I need a consistent upload, and maybe I need one video per week. It could be more, it could be less, but let's say I need 12 good ideas of things I want to talk about. And then on these ideas, I had to do some research in order to turn that idea in a finished video. Then I needed to practice editing. I've never edited anything in my life. So this is 
the absolute first time for me. Then I had to complete the studio setup version 1.0, which is what you're seeing here right now. It is extremely cheap, it's just version 1.0, and I've done it. And it's clear, it's measured. Have you done it or not? Yes or no? There is no interpretation, right? Then I had to complete a workflow. As I said, there are many pieces going from I have had an idea to I have published a video, right? So you need a workflow, that's what I think, to move from one stage to the other until I have delivered my completed video. Then I had to set up an email sign up because I want to build uh, my own newsletter. And then I had to take Simon Cacciaro on social media. Now, this is a cool question. Why has my goal been achieved more than 100%? Does it mean that I am bad at planning? Well, the answer is very simple. Given that I've never built a YouTube channel before, I had no idea about the YouTube workflow, right? So I didn't know how hard it would have been to do something. So I thought at the beginning of the quarter that 12 ideas, good ideas uh, for me to talk about, would have been a tough goal to achieve. It turned out that I wake up in the middle of the night with a cascade of ideas that I think I can talk about and I just write them down and list them. As a result, I had listed over three months eight times more ideas than what I expected. Quick note on the cases when you end up delivering far less than 100% on a specific objective. According to the author and one of the most important tech investors of all time, John Doerr, even a mere 70% completion rate would be enough if you're really pushing yourself. Because that means that you gave yourself so ambitious goals that in three months there just wasn't enough time to accomplish all of them. If you watch this far, comment below with the emoji of a pineapple so that I can get to know you better. Plus, in the description below you will find the link to this OKR database and system so that you can download it and use it, it's free. Double plus if you want the book on OKRs, just look for the great Measure What Matters by John Doerr. This is one of my favorite books ever. I will give you the link in the description below. Did you get any value out of this video? Like and follow for more.